The Kamloops Broncos achieved something few teams can boast about last year. They made the postseason with just two wins. This season begins Saturday and the team they're playing is the team they surpassed for the final playoff spot. This year the Broncos have their sights set on a better record, one that doesn't focus all their hopes on beating out the bottom of their league. Even though they made the playoffs for the first time in their franchise history last year, this season the Broncos want to do better. I expect to see a more mature Broncos, expect to see a lot more wins. That's because the Broncos only had two wins last season. Getting into the playoffs has given this team a little swagger and that can go a long way. Head coach Duncan Ophius believes his team can triple the W's this year. If everything goes right and we, the kids are focused and we, we are as coaches have them disciplined, we can be a 6-4, and 7-3 and three team. To do that, Kamloops will rely heavily on their offense. Connor Whitelaw will likely start at quarterback. Derek Yatchison will definitely have to catch touchdowns for the Broncos to win. The wide receiver from Winnipeg carried much of the offensive load last year, and he's here to do it again. We're having Derek back, it's uh, you know he's a, he's a great kid, great assets for us to have, and he just adds that next element for our offense. Yatchison recently participated in the BC Lions training camp here in Kamloops. The experience has taught him to refine his game, learning techniques he hopes will take him to the next level. Uh, lots of small things, uh, things that you probably don't even think of that you really get, you really notice and pick up when you're in camp with the pros. The Broncos will also have a lot of new faces. 35 new players are training with the team. It's the result of some serious recruiting. They even managed to bring in a player from the UBC Thunderbirds. They had a good pitch and uh, I like the facilities and everything. The team was a good match, so I decided to come here. Kamloops appears to have the right pieces on offense, but their defense could cause the coaching staff to lose some hair. It is a defensive line. They're really young. We don't have a returner from that from last year, so it's a huge learning process for all the kids. But uh, they've took it on, and they're you know very coachable kids, and it's been a not a, it's been a little bit of a learning experience for them. But uh, they're getting there. I think the big thing is they're going to have to pick up as we go. I mean, they aren't going to be the best off off the top because a lot of them haven't even played in the league yet. So I mean, as long as they're getting better as as the games are going on, that's the main thing. The season opens this Saturday night at Hillside Stadium against the West Shore Rebels. It's the team Kamloops edged out for the final playoff spot last year. The Broncos hope to see lots of fans out as they feel this can be the difference. We need their fans out there making a lot of noise like they did last West Shore game. That was a, you know, the one that our, our tight game that we had there. The noise there was awesome and it just fed the kids. We love it when the fans are here. Love the noise, love the, how the players we all, we all get a lift from the fans. Uh, just come out, support us, please. It's, it'll be great.